This is a, a portion of the video that I took from the uh, secondary crusher uh, output at the, uh, the demo plant. You can see the material varies a bit. It's a short video, only about seven seconds. I'm going to rerun it and I'm going to show you how I took, took the sample. Just ran it to a point where it looked like a, a reasonable representation of what I might want to sample. I uh, take the screen snapshot including both sides of the, uh, the conveyor. Save the sample. As a JPEG initially. We call it uh, sample one for whatever purpose. Run it to the next level, or stopping point, determine whether that's a sample I want to take. Grab another sample. Literally the same thing. Saving it again as a JPEG, and I'll just change the sample name to 2. And I'll take a third sample. And you can take as many as you want. And I'll just take these three. But you see it's a heck of a lot different than uh, going out with a shovel and a bucket to acquire the data. And in the next video I'll show you how the data is processed. In this video we're going to show you the process where the samples that we took previously are going to be brought into the split desktop software and analyzed. And we took three samples. You may or may not recognize them. The first thing we need to do is set the scale. I grab the scaling button and uh, draw across the belt. I physically measured that at uh, 39 inches. You can see that's already set. And then I'm going to go to the scale to lock that in. And then I'm going to propagate that to all three of the uh, samples, or photos. As I close them, it's going to transform the JPEGs into TIF files, which is what I need to work with in the analysis. So I will reopen them. The TIF files are all scaled. <laughs> They're not cascaded well, but they are. Now I'm going to uh, crop the photographs to remove anything that I don't want to measure, particularly the empty belt. And as I do that, I'll close the original file. There's no magic to this, other than you don't want to get any partial relevant rocks or the empty belt into the calculation. Alright, from here I'm going to um, try to make the photos easier to delineate We're using the equalize option. And I'm going to tell it to find particles. I'm going to use no automatic finds designation. I'll do that myself. I'm going to use a 50% factor and tell it to process. And once processed, I can go in here. The size has been computed. 
I can make sure that my sieves match what I want and they're in the right um, dimensions. And then I go out, put saves to the right place, and as I do this, I get the gradation. And as I open the file, it shows me the results. With a little bit of trimming here, I get it to line up. And I'll take it like this and copy it to the Excel spreadsheet here. Then gives me the ability to open up my ag flow file. Do a copy. Go to the adjust field data in the sample bucket. Paste from Excel. Confirm, accept, and we'll see how it matches the theoretical. And there you have it. Samples <coughs> were taken on this belt from the two secondary crushers, and they were taken uh, separately on the uh, belts from the one and um, two and three and four crushers. And uh, we'll, we won't repeat that whole process, but um, I'll show you the data when we get to the next stage where we start analyzing the ag flow file.